Additionally, you have the cable cord. You get to a site, you can plug in for cable. Spare tire. Backup camera. That's going to be, uh, I have a monitor in the front that you'll be able to access, plug into the front of your vehicle, and you'll want to put your headlights on, on. So auto won't quite work. Uh, you want it on, on, so the camera comes on and you see the, the back behind the vehicle show up on the camera mounted to your glass or dashboard. Steps are on the exterior here as well. That just simply folds down, folds up, manually lift it back into place. The door does have a screen door. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty good to use. Generally keep it like that because I want to be able to use this for my main door. This will be open and closed. Red is lock. This is really to secure it and pull it shut. When I start traveling, always, always, always make sure you secure it and get it up out of the way. Lock it. Pull up. There we go. Open it up. Pull the stairs out. You're ready to rock. We've also got a leash latch as well and a bottle opener. Again, for outdoor use, you'll have your outlets here, TV, um, whichever. That's going to come from the source that you plugged in from the other side. And that's the cord here I was telling you about. So it's all located inside here. Your Furion three-prong. Here's the water hose. Here's the gold attachment. That's going to help pressurize the water um, to a more suitable level for the piping. Inside of here, you're also going to have... Um, some additional uh, sewage components in the yellow bag. Those are going to be your dirtier kind of fittings. There's going to be a gray fitting. This gray fitting is going to be used every time you go to a site. It's already attached to this L bracket here, this clear L um, piping piece. This is going to go inside the sewage ground and it's going to screw in. And here's your little elbow, it's clear. And this is just an extender. So I, I like to keep those obviously in a yellow bag because you know they are a little dirtier and it's definitely a good idea to wear the gloves that I've provided in the uh, compartment inside. Here's your manual jack. Fairly straightforward. When you get to where you're camping, you're gonna wanna make sure that you check for stability front and back and then side to side. So again, once you pull up and you start to Get the chalks in for safety. You want to be able to use your stabilizers. These are not meant to be used to change a tire. These are only meant to stabilize the actual trailer. And this is pretty self-explanatory with just a crank. You see, see it starts to come up. And the wood blocks are just to help keep you from having to go up and down every single time uh, as far. And a little more stability in some dirt and dirtier areas. And as a reminder, when we do take these up, you want to take them up as high as, pretty much as high as they go, and then remove all the wood blocks. Keep the chocks there until you're ready to roll, and put all the wood blocks inside this compartment. Little latch here, pretty simple. You'll simply tighten this, lock that. Let's go inside. 